once a country called Austria-Hungary that had two kings, two capitals, 17 different languages, but only a single foreign policy which just so happened to be utterly f***ing retarded. It all revolved around this place called Bosnia, one of the Yugoslav countries, that patchwork quilt of small Balkan kingdoms, long oppressed by the Ottoman Empire and only recently made independent. In 1908, Austria-Hungary decides to annex Bosnia into its complicated empire, much to the displeasure of most Bosnians and the neighboring Yugoslav nation of Serbia. In July 1914, a man with a funny hat and a funny name goes on a tour of Sarajevo, the Bosnian capital, where he is shot and killed by a Bosnian nationalist with an even funnier name, but no hat. Well, it was like throwing a firecracker into a room packed with dynamite. Each tiny spark threatening to light the fuse of the long-standing, highly volatile European situation. Despite no evidence whatsoever of Serbian complicity in the assassination, Austria-Hungary blamed them anyway and delivered an ultimatum comprised of ten increasingly humiliating concessions. Then, to the surprise of everyone, the famously stubborn Serbs agreed to most of these concessions, all except for the last one, which would have essentially wiped them off the map. Not good enough, said Austria-Hungary, and they declare war on Serbia. Serbia quite naturally declares war on Austria-Hungary and appeals to help from Russia, specifically Tsar Nicholas, who had always proclaimed himself to be the great benefactor of the Slavic people. Russia mobilizes her army, which prompts Austria-Hungary to appeal for help from its great ally, Germany, who thenceforth declares war on Russia. Russia declares war on Germany, Austria-Hungary declares war on Russia, and Russia declares war on Austria-Hungary. All this triggering an alliance signed between Russia and France in which one would come to the aid of the other if Germany ever declared war on either, which it did. So France declares war on Germany. Germany declares war on France, then invades France through Belgium, which is neutral, but under the protection of Great Britain, who also declares war on Germany. Germany declares war on Great Britain, and by that point, everyone is royally, indisputably f***ed. Thank you for watching. Please visit our internet televisional channel for further video lectures and other essays featuring scantily clad women. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, whatever that means, and also subscribe do to the Forza channel. Now Just available at the low, 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 one time only price of absolutely and completely free. Thank you again, and good night.